Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. Let's talk about some very important setups you must do to Photoshop before you run TCEPs. Now, the image on the right is the original image. The image on the left is the separated image, and I was able to get this down to a six-color print on a light shirt. This is only going to work on a light shirt. And if we want to display the image correctly so we're not fooled by our eye, we must do some setups in Photoshop first. This is very important because sometimes new users want to run routines right away and they want to know why the routine looks a little dull on the monitor and doesn't display correctly. And you must tell Photoshop about dot gain for it to display with a dot gain applied to the steps. So we're displaying this actually with dot gain applied, meaning the films will actually look a little bit weaker when we print them out. But when we print them and go to press and put them on screens, they will gain when we print them. So we must tell Photoshop these settings. We're going to go to the edit pull down menu and it's falling off of the screen here but the bottom of this menu is color settings and so you can't see it but you just look for a button that says color settings. And different versions of Photoshop, earlier versions look slightly different than this but the basic menus are all there. Now we need to first go to working spaces in the RGB window, drop that down and change that to Apple RGB. I don't care if you're on a PC or a Mac, the Apple RGB standard for monitor display is the de facto standard. Now we're going to skip the CMYK setting for right now. We're going to come next to gray and it's set default for 15 or 20 percent depending on your Photoshop setup. We're going to set this for the max dot gain of 30 percent. And for spot colors, we're going to set it for 30%. This is how Photoshop displays images. This has nothing to do with Photoshop adjusting your separations. This is about the display. Now, under CMYK, we're going to make a setting that will change how we print and display only CMYK separations. This setting that we change here will have nothing to do with simulated process or index color. We're going to drop this down, and we're going to click on Custom CMYK. Now with custom CMYK, we could default this under ink colors to swap newsprint. Swap stands for specifications for web offset printing and it's what the printing industry uses to adjust for dot gain. And if you do not have the ink values from your favorite ink company, then newsprint is pretty standard. Newsprint will give you about 30% dot gain and you get a little bit more than that at press, but 30% is a good start. Now. We would set it for swap newsprint. We will set the dot gain actually to 35%. And again, these settings are only for real process CMYK separations. Now we're going to make sure that GCR is checked. That's gray component replacement. Black generation set for light. If our design does not have a lot of black in it, if we're running a CMYK real process seps, R will set it for medium if there's lots of black. Black ink limit for 85% total ink limit for 250 percent. These are going to be settings that this program will remember, so Photoshop remembers these and we will say OK. Now to take this one step further, when you bought TCEPs, you got with it the ink values for the CMYK process colors for Union Ink, Excalibur, and Wilflex inks. And if you go and drop down the CMYK window and click on Load CMYK, you'll find your TCEPs folder on your hard disk. In that folder is a subfolder called Inks, and in that subfolder called Union. And you'll see there's nothing there, but that's because the default in Photoshop in later versions is looking for an ICC profile. If you drop down the Files of Type window, you're looking actually for an API file. And we provided for you API files, and in the case of Union Ink, this is for their process color inks called their PRPL series. And this is for 305 mesh automatic press, PRPL series, 355 mesh automatic, 305 manual, 305 automatic, etc. Let's click on PRPL 305M. That's for a manual press. Then we're going to go back and make sure that under our custom CMYK settings, things haven't changed. Now Union Inks Lab has determined that for their PRPL ink on a 305 mesh with a manual press gets 40% dot gain. You can leave this the way it is. And we say OK. Again, these CMYK settings only have to do with process color separations. And if you do these basic setups, Photoshop displays the image with dot gain applied and your images will display the way they're going to print.
Now, the truth of the matter is you need to read the reference manual for these changes and make sure you understand them. The reference manual is detailed and talks about the Photoshop setup and covers many things that are covered in these D DVDs, but you should take time to read the reference manual. If you read nothing else, at least read the TSAP's Quick Reference Guide, which covers installation, Mac and PC, but it does cover the Photoshop setups, and that's very important to understand the setups and make sure you've set it correctly. And so it covers the things we just talked about. Those are the basic setups in Photoshop to get your design to display correctly.